Before we get started with our Calendly event types, let's make sure my account is up to date by checking its account settings. We can do this with the button in the top right here and then selecting account settings. You'll be directed to the profile page. Here we can adjust our display name, a welcome message, and even our time zone. Remember, Calendly will automatically detect your invitee's time zone when they visit your booking page. So what you're picking here is just what time zone will display on your side. I'm on the East Coast, so I selected Eastern Time Zone, US and Canada. Using these buttons over here, we can also change things like my booking link. By default, Calendly will select your booking link to be your username, but let's say I want to change it to something like the Golden Girls. But we'll make it fun and call it the Golden Girls with a U. It will tell me that that link is available, and then all I'll need to do is save changes. You'll receive a confirmation message, and then if we go back to our homepage by clicking on the Calendly logo, we can see that my booking link has now changed to reflect the new name. The account button at the top right corner can also let you make adjustments to things like your billing. Currently, I'm subscribed to the professional plan with five seats. If I wanted to add seats, remove seats, or change my payment method, I would just need to click this drop down menu here, pick the prompt like update payment method, and then enter in the information that's necessary. Then all I would need to do is click update.